This video shows you how to install the Frost King gutter guard screen. The instructions tell you to cut it into manageable pieces, which is probably an okay idea. However, I think that it's superior to leave it as the full length, which is 20 feet, because it is a little bit problematic when you come to the joints and lining them up and getting them to fit together nicely. So leaving it at length tends to minimize how many times you have to make uh, connecting joints with them. So what you do is you first take it and you kind of squeeze it into a domed shape going upwards and place it into the gutter, kind of push it down and uh, to rest in. I just leave the coil roll back about four feet rolled up setting in the gutter and then you work your way down just pinching it and pressing it in. It's a compression fit that holds it in. I've done uh, other areas of the house gutter with these several weeks ago and they have held in place very nicely. I was worried they would blow out because they're just using this compression fit to get in. However, after one really big storm, they've uh, held in there. And they do a fantastic job as I reviewed in a, another video. You work your way down. When you get to the nails, the gutter nails, you uh, simply tuck it in. I'll show you up here at the beginning. There's a, a nail there and you just push that in and, and under. It can be a little bit of a tight fit, but it fits well and stays in there nicely. So you just continue to work your way down until you get to the end of your roll. If when you're installing it you get a ripple or a bubble like this over one of the rain gutter nails and you can't push it in and make it flush, then you can just take a pair of simple scissors and cut just a V out of it. Instructions and tell you to do this, but I think it's better if you can to tuck it under without cutting if you can get a nice flat fit because it kind of holds it in place better but if if it's not just cut a V into it above the nail and then it lays down smoothly